Legal issues continue to mount for the city of Jennings, the latest coming from the former city attorney. Yeah, several times over the last year, police have been called over altercations between elected officials and now a historical society is seeking help from police to retrieve its items. But the society says the mayor is not cooperating. First Lord Forrest Dion Broxton explains why locks were changed. For 30 years, Marietta Beck had no issue accessing this building owned by the city of Jennings. And when I came here on July 1st in the afternoon, my keys didn't work. Beck, the secretary of the Jennings Historical Society, wasn't able to enter their location on Jennings Station Road near Horde Avenue. The society isn't affiliated with the city. After a week of looking for answers, Beck says she got this response from a city clerk. And he said, no keys will be given out. The mayor is the only one that will have a key to this building. Beck says for years, the city had an agreement with the society to use the space. Beck tells First Alert for she requested documentation, but the city told her it doesn't exist. In an email to First Alert for Jennings Mayor Gary Johnson said individuals not associated with the city of Jennings or the Jennings Historical Society should possess keys. But the problem is no members of the society have keys right now and a member of the society is a current city council member. The Jennings Historical Society sent this letter last week asking the city to cooperate. Even mentioning having a St. Louis County police officer present so the historical artifacts can be moved elsewhere. Beck says the society can't function under this new circumstance. Somebody will come down and unlock the building when we want to get in, but that restricts us just to when the city hall is open. While the society waits for a response from the mayor, it is actively looking for a new space to operate in. And Jennings, Dion Broxton, First Alert 4.